Hello, knowledge seekers. In this episode of 20 Minute Books, we delve into the enlightening world of Super Immunity by Joel Furman, Maryland. Published in 2011, this insightful work uncovers the key to enhancing your immune system and attaining a more robust health status through the power of superfoods. Furman casts a critical eye on the limitations of contemporary medicine and guides readers toward harnessing the therapeutic capabilities of plant foods, which are abundant in essential nutrients and phytochemicals. Joel Furman, a noted family physician, is renowned for his commitment to preventing and reversing diseases through nutritional and natural methods. As the creator of the Health Starts Here initiative and the research director of the Nutritional Research Project of the National Health Association, Furman brings a wealth of knowledge and credibility to the subject matter. Superimmunity is an essential read for those who find themselves constantly battling colds and flu, individuals searching for alternatives to conventional antibiotics and prescription medications, and anyone eager to elevate their health naturally. Join us as we explore Furman's compelling argument for transforming your diet to fortify your body's defense systems and achieve superimmunity. Super Immunity, the essential nutrition guide for boosting your body's defenses to live longer, stronger, and disease free. Introduction Unlock the secrets to super immunity with superfoods. In the maze of dietary advice, finding a clear path to health can feel overwhelming. One moment we're told to demonize carbs, the next to shun protein. Amidst this cacophony of nutritional do's and don'ts, How do we discern the truth? The answer lies not in obsessing over macronutrients, but in embracing the power of superfoods. These nutrient-dense powerhouses are your ticket to a healthier, more vibrant life, promising to elevate your well-being beyond the ordinary. Through this enlightened approach, you'll discover the somewhat surprising drawbacks of the common flu vaccine, learn which vitamin supplements might be doing you more harm than good, and excitingly, how superfoods wield the power to fend off cancer. Welcome to a world where food is not just sustenance, but your strongest ally in the quest for superimmunity. Part 1. The Timeless Wisdom of Healing Through Diet, More Crucial Now Than Ever Hippocrates, the revered father of modern medicine, once famously declared, Let food be thy medicine. This profound insight has echoed through the ages from the ancient civilizations to our modern era, yet its importance has only grown. The Greeks and Egyptians, with their deep respect for nature, turned to the earth's bounty, herbs and wholesome foods to cure ailments, enhance well-being, and shield against illness. Today, science has illuminated the reason behind the remarkable healing properties of certain foods, phytochemicals. These potent chemicals, nestled within plants, are not only vital for the plant's own survival and flourish, but are equally crucial for maintaining human health, particularly for our immune system's optimal functioning. The wonders of phytochemicals aren't limited to their ability to support our defenses. Research suggests they might even play a role in reducing the risk of contracting serious ailments like AIDS, provided one maintains good health and nutrition. However, in an era dominated by adversaries like diseases and viruses, Our diet seems to have strayed far from the ancient wisdom of nutrition-based healing. Modern dining tables are more likely to be laden with animal products, processed items, and foods made from refined white flour, rather than the phytochemical-rich vegetables, fruits, beans, nuts, and seeds. Alarmingly, such beneficial foods make up a meager 10% of a typical American diet, and half of that is accounted for by white potatoes, hardly a phytochemical powerhouse. This deviation from a diet rich in life-sustaining phytochemicals has led to compromised immune systems across the populace, pushing us into the arms of a medical system that, despite its advancements, was never meant to be a substitute for the natural defense mechanism provided by a proper diet. As we navigate through a world where reliance on medical care has hit unparalleled heights, one can't help but ponder Have we forgotten the ancient wisdom that once guided us towards optimal health 
through the very essence of nature, our diet. Let's delve deeper into recalibrating our approach to health and immunity in the face of modern challenges. Part 2. Navigating Beyond Symptoms the call for a root cause approach in modern medicine. In an age where medical miracles often pull us back from the brink of death, it's reassuring to know the prowess of modern medicine in emergency scenarios. However, when we step away from the emergency room, the landscape of healthcare reveals a more concerning picture. The crux of the issue? A system deeply entrenched in treating symptoms rather than confronting the underlying causes of diseases. Consider type 2 diabetes, a prevalent ailment often managed with a routine prescription pad approach. Shockingly, research involving over 90,000 individuals with type 2 diabetes uncovered that the two leading medications not only fell short in tackling the root cause, but alarmingly elevated the risk of congestive heart failure. This revelation underscores a fundamental flaw in how drugs are utilized. They offer a temporary fix to the symptoms, ignoring the lifestyle factors like poor diet and lack of exercise that sculpt the very foundation of these health concerns. Moreover, these medications can paradoxically make patients less likely to adopt healthier lifestyles by increasing appetite, hence fueling the cycle of disease. Similarly, the realm of vaccinations hailed as a monumental success in preventative medicine, warrants a closer examination. The universal flu shot, championed by the U.S. Center for Disease Control and Prevention, for everyone over six months old, presents a surprising efficacy dilemma. With over 200 viruses capable of causing influenza, the vaccine's reach to a mere 10% of these viruses raises doubts about its protective promise. Furthermore, the inclusion of thimerosal, a compound containing mercury, in each dose adds to the concern, hinting at the potential for cumulative mercury exposure to inflict harm on the brain and nervous system over time. This disconnect between the disease and its treatment culminates in a pressing question. If reliance on prescriptions and vaccinations isn't the panacea, what is? The answer lies in a proactive embrace of superfoods a nutritionally robust shield poised to fortify our health from the ground up. As we venture into the realms of empowering our bodies and minds, it becomes clear that the path to wellness is paved with more than just medical interventions. It's about nurturing our inherent resilience through the power of nature's bounty. Part 3. Unleashing the Dual Power of Superfoods, Cancer Prevention and Flu Resistance Imagine a group of foods so powerful that they could not only shield you against the dreaded C word, cancer, but also bolster your defenses against seasonal flu. Enter the realm of superfoods, a diverse array of nutritional champions like mushrooms, green leafy vegetables, and a variety of cruciferous veggies. What sets these foods apart? Their rich content of life enhancing nutrients and phytochemicals, which are adept at promoting healing within our bodies. Diving deeper into the cancer prevention capabilities of superfoods, let's explore the fascinating process of methylation. Methylation involves the addition of a methyl group to a gene, which may sound harmless but can lead to cellular turmoil, resulting in abnormal rampant cell division or cancer. The superheroic aspect of superfoods comes into play here as they possess the astonishing ability to neutralize these hazardous methylated cells. Kale, broccoli, cauliflower, and collard greens in particular excel in this arena. Moreover, superfoods are rich in compounds known as isothiocyanates, or ITCs for short. ITCs don't just sit on the sidelines, they actively contribute to our immune system's fight against cancer by providing a significant boost. The impact of superfoods is not a matter of mere speculation. Research from the Harvard School of Public Health has put numbers to the narrative, showing that increasing the intake of plant foods by 20% can slash cancer rates by the same margin. But that's not all. Ramp up your consumption of cruciferous vegetables by 20%, and you could see cancer rates plummet by a staggering 40%. And it doesn't end with cancer. Superfoods come equipped with the tools to fend off viruses 
like influenza too. The ITCs in cruciferous vegetables don't just sit back in the face of viral and bacterial threats. They spring into action, enhancing our body's cell-killing capabilities and resistance to infections. These compounds even extend their protective hand when antibiotics fall short, showcasing their antimicrobial prowess against drug-resistant bacteria and reinforcing our natural defenses. In summary, superfoods are not your ordinary veggies. They come bearing gifts of cancer prevention, immune system support, and enhanced resistance to both viruses and bacteria, making them an indispensable ally in our quest for health and longevity. Part 4. The Catch-22 of Quick Fixes, Antibiotics and Cold Medications In the quest for immediate relief from sickness, antibiotics have been hailed as the go-to solution by many in the medical community. However, Their effectiveness is vastly overestimated in the battle against most acute illnesses, including the common cold, which are primarily caused by viruses, against which antibiotics stand powerless. The overuse of antibiotics not only misses the mark against these viral adversaries, but also wages war on the essential bacteria residing in our gastrointestinal tract, where an astonishing 70% of our immune cells reside. The result? a double-edged sword that cuts through important gut bacteria, leading to digestive disturbances and a compromised immune system. The narrative doesn't change much when we turn our gaze to the cold medicine aisle. Over-the-counter remedies like NyQuil, DimeTap and Robitussin promise to ease our discomfort, but in reality they do little to expedite the cold's departure. By masking symptoms such as coughing, these medications may inadvertently prolong illness. Coughing serves as one of the body's crucial defenses, clearing our airways of dead cells, virus particles, and mucus. Interrupting this natural process with cough suppressants risks transforming what could be a brief viral encounter into prolonged and potentially serious conditions like pneumonia. Moreover, many of these cold remedies come with their own set of drawbacks, disrupting our sleep patterns and digestive health. In light of these concerning repercussions, it's imperative to question our reliance on these quick fixes and explore more sustainable avenues for health maintenance. Transitioning our focus from medicinal interventions to dietary choices presents a promising path forward, but what constitutes the right foods for bolstering our health and immunity? Stay tuned as we delve into the dietary choices that can make all the difference. Part 5. Building Blocks of a Truly Healthy Diet Beyond Macros In the swirling sea of diet advice, it's easy to get caught up in the currents of focusing solely on macronutrients, fats, proteins, and carbohydrates. However, achieving a truly healthy diet requires us to dive deeper than merely counting macros. The essence of a wholesome diet lies not just in the quantity, but the quality of nutrients it delivers, paired with a mindful selection of fats, carbs, and proteins. At the heart of nutrient-dense eating are colorful vegetables, particularly the leafy greens. These vibrant powerhouses are bursting with fiber, vitamins, minerals, and phytochemicals, playing a pivotal role in fulfilling our body's nutritional demands without overloading it with calories. Contrastingly, Foods like bread and pasta, though calorie-rich, offer scant nutritional value, leading to the buildup of cellular waste, a fast track to premature aging and increased vulnerability to diseases and heart conditions. But what about carbohydrates, often vilified in the realm of dieting? The reality is that carbs, when chosen wisely, are far from the enemy. Nutrient-packed sources such as beans, peas, tomatoes, berries, squash, quinoa, wild rice, and even some types of potatoes redefine carbohydrates, inviting them back to the table as part of a healthy diet. And then there's the matter of fats, a dietary component frequently misunderstood. The notion that a diet should contain less than 10% fat is a myth that overlooks the body's needs. A healthy diet can contain 15 to 30% fat, provided it comes from nutrient-rich sources, supporting not just satiety, 
but overall health. Proteins similarly require a nuanced approach. While it's true that our bodies need protein, the source of this protein is crucial. Plant-based proteins not only meet our nutritional needs, but also contribute positively to our health. Conversely, excessive consumption of animal proteins has been linked to alarming health issues, including cancer, diminished immune function, and quicker aging. Thus, adopting a diet rich in a variety of nutrients is the cornerstone of maintaining optimal health. While food remains the primary source of these vital nutrients, the growing popularity of supplements presents another avenue to explore, with a cautionary note to always understand what exactly you are consuming. As we navigate through the world of supplements, it's essential to proceed with insight and caution. Part 6. Navigating the Supplement Shelf selecting the vitamins you truly need. In an ideal world, our plates would be brimming with all the nutrients our bodies crave day in and day out. Yet the reality is often far from this nutritional utopia, leading many to turn to supplements as a safety net against deficiency. However, when it comes to bolstering your diet with vitamins and minerals, the key lies in making astute choices. Vitamin D, Vitamin B12, zinc, and iodine stand out as critical nutrients that many struggle to maintain at optimum levels. With a shift towards consuming less salt, iodine deficiencies have become more common. Similarly, the essential nutrients, zinc and vitamin B12, may pose a challenge for those not incorporating meat into their diets. Moreover, Our increasingly indoor lifestyles mean many are missing out on sufficient sun exposure, resulting in widespread vitamin D deficiencies. Given these challenges, reaching for supplements can appear as a logical solution. Multivitamins, in particular, are often touted as a convenient catch-all for daily nutritional needs. Yet, this one-size-fits-all approach to supplementation can inadvertently introduce more harm than good particularly when it comes to certain vitamins, like vitamin A. Once hailed as a harmless supplement, beta-carotene, a precursor to vitamin A, has come under scrutiny. Research now indicates that, when consumed in supplement form, it could elevate cancer risk, a stark reversal from its once-perceived safety profile. Moreover, vitamin A supplementation has been linked to accelerated calcium loss, raising the specter of osteoporosis. The case of folic acid further illustrates the complexity of supplement selection. Despite being routinely confused with folate, a naturally occurring member of the vitamin B family vital for pregnant women, folic acid is synthetic and absent from natural food sources. Its consumption has been associated with increased risks of breast cancer in women, colorectal cancer in men, and cardiac birth defects in infants. Given the rich presence of folate in green vegetables, a supplemental form of folic acid is not only unnecessary but potentially hazardous. As we traverse the landscape of dietary supplements, it's clear that wisdom, not just willingness, is required to navigate the myriad options. Opting for supplements should be a carefully considered decision, focusing on nutrients genuinely needed by the body while steering clear of those that could do more harm than good. Part 7. Striking the balance. Less salt, more omega-3s for optimal health salt. The seasoning of choice for many, a catalyst for flavor in countless dishes, and undeniably, a substance our bodies gravitate towards. Whether indulging in a bag of potato chips or sprinkling salt over a meal, our affinity for salt is deeply ingrained. Nevertheless, modern diets significantly diverge from those of our ancestors who thrived on minimal salt intake, predominantly consuming a mere 600 to 800 milligrams daily. In stark contrast, the average modern-day human's salt consumption skyrockets to about 3,500 milligrams a day, setting the stage for a host of health problems. The overdose of sodium escalates the risks of developing stomach cancer, osteoporosis, and heart diseases. Numerous studies have established a direct link between excessive salt intake and elevated blood pressure levels, a notorious precursor to strokes and coronary heart disease. Intriguingly, 
The epidemic of high blood pressure predominantly afflicts individuals residing in urbanized settings, where adding salt to food is a common practice, unlike their rural counterparts. While salt serves as a cautionary tale, omega-3 fatty acids emerge as the nutritional heroes, essential for reducing inflammation, safeguarding the brain, and thwarting cancer, yet not naturally produced by our bodies, omega. Three fatty acids must be sourced from our diet. The quest for omega-3s leads to a variety of food options including hemp and chia seeds, walnuts, fish, and green vegetables. While processed foods may also contain fatty acids, the types found within are often less beneficial compared to those derived from natural sources. Given the vital role omega-3 fatty acids play in our health, supplementing our intake can prove beneficial. Fish oil capsules have gained popularity as a convenient source, although concerns over potential mercury contamination suggest caution. Opting for high-quality supplements produced from algae nurtured in controlled indoor environments presents a cleaner, safer alternative. Embracing a dietary shift towards limiting salt while increasing omega-3 fatty acid consumption offers a straightforward yet profound strategy for enhancing overall health. As we reconsider our dietary choices, exploring new, healthier recipes could herald the start of a revitalized, more balanced approach to eating and well-being. Final summary. In a world where quick-fix medications have become the go-to solution for health issues, it's time to turn back to the age-old wisdom that recognizes food as the ultimate medicine. The journey to optimal health and a robust immune system doesn't rely on the latest pharmaceutical inventions, but on the natural bounty provided by superfoods. From the teachings of ancient civilizations to modern scientific research, the healing power and health-promoting properties of nutrient-rich foods have stood the test of time. By integrating a variety of superfoods into our daily diet, we unlock a treasure trove of benefits that go beyond mere sustenance, arming our bodies with the natural defenses to ward off flu and combat cancer. In essence, to elevate our health and fortify our immune system, we must look no further than the vibrant, life-enhancing phytochemicals found in the world of superfoods. Thank you for joining me today on this journey of learning and discovery as we explored the insights of another thought-provoking book in our growing library of knowledge. If you've enjoyed our time together, please take a moment to follow our podcast, give us a five-star rating, and share 20-minute books with other knowledge seekers. Your support truly means a lot. Don't forget to join me again in the next episode, where we will delve into another enriching book. Until then, happy reading and happy listening.